For the ancient Egyptians, death wasn't the end. There was a whole other life to enjoy, the afterlife, in a world ruled by Osiris, the god of the dead. It wasn't a free-for-all, though. Not everyone got in, but the Egyptians believed that having a fancy tomb would boost your chances. So then, tomb building was a serious business. As well as looking good, the tombs needed to be secure. You wouldn't want someone breaking in, robbing your tomb, and worst of all, mucking up your chances of a happy ever afterlife. Some of the best security measures for tombs were called mastabas, meaning eternal houses. These were rectangular rooms placed over the burial chamber. Over time, pharaohs wanted more and more mastabas stacked on top of each other to make it harder and harder for thieves to break in. Each mastaba was slightly smaller than the last, forming a triangular shape that we know today as the Egyptian Pyramid. It took literally thousands of people to construct a pyramid. From architects, the building designers, to stone masons, to builders. It also took thousands of huge stones. Sometimes up to two million giant blocks were used. The stones came from quarries and weighed up to two tons each. It was not an easy job to cut them out, so the workers used a very special method. First, grooves were cut into the stone, and then wooden wedges were pushed into the grooves. When water was poured over the wedges, the wood swelled, which made the grooves bigger and eventually split the rock into pieces. The workers who did the really heavy moving of the giant stones to the building site were not always professionals, but farm workers, slaves, or prisoners drafted in to help out. Those who were paid were not paid with money, but with food, wine, beer, clothes, and other goods. Once the pharaoh agreed to the pyramid plans, work could begin. First, wooden stakes and string were used to mark out the overall layout of the base of the pyramid on the ground. Then the foundations went down. As each layer of the pyramid was laid, it got higher and higher until the workmen needed ramps to reach each new level. To coat the overall step-like structure, the builders used smooth white stones this means that when the pyramids were first built, they were white and gleaming, not the dull, broken-up look they have today. The outside looked impressive, but some of the most detailed building work went on inside the pyramid. There was a whole maze of passages and rooms designed to hide the true burial chamber from would-be thieves. When all this work was finished, Painters and sculptors went to work decorating the inner burial chamber to make it fit for a dead pharaoh awaiting the afterlife. <laughs>